Hello everyone and welcome to Dota Underlords. Uh, let's first have a look at who is in the jail today. Uh, a Nyx Assassin, which was one of our most uh, most prominent characters uh, during the last playthrough. Uh, but um, as far as I can see, none of the other characters that are in the jail are going to cause problems for us. I never play with Necrophos, even though I'm dueling in healer build. And I don't see any druids or any shaman that are currently in jail, so that would be nice. So I think if we're lucky, we're going to do a druid the shaman build today. Um, so let's play. Uh, we're going to do a ranked standard match. As you can see, I'm currently upstart level 3. And let's see what we're matched up against and see what we can do for the moment. Uh, last time we were very, very lucky. We had a lot of assassins available to us in the first uh, three rounds, during the loot rounds. Which would make it very easy for us to actually build an assassin's build. Um, it, it's really depending on what we get those first three, three rounds on what I'm going to do today. But we'll see. Um, this are, these are the players we're against. I don't think I'm able to pronounce many of them. And I think actually I'm going for a mage build even though the crystal maiden is out of the game. Um, I'm going to start with Razor and I'm going to lock these so I can buy Ogre Magi and Razor again. When I've got two coins, which we will get after this round. The first round you will definitely win. Um, even though you only have your Underlord available to you. So you do not need to buy in the first round already. But it's advice, uh, it's advised if you do so. If you have any characters in the shop that you like. So we won. Everyone won as you can see. It's, it, I don't think you can lose this round. Um, what shall we choose? I really had hoped this was um, the Smuggler one, which you get, get one higher tier. But for now, I think we're going to get the Vitality Booster. And now I'm going to grab Ogamaji and Razor, and I'm going to put Ogamaji in. And let's give him the 500 bonus health that we've got. Again, this is a loot round, which means we will get an item after we finish this round. Uh, this round you can most likely win, if I'm not mistaken, with Trisha on your lo in the Lord. But the third one you cannot win without buying any character. So you can actually wait until the third round before you do any of the buying. So we won this one very easily. We're actually, we were the first one who won this round. Which doesn't say anything, but it's always nice to know. So let's have a look at items we can get. Um, again, this embarrassment of the riches, I don't like it. Um, let's take Roach of the Martyr and let's give that a Razor and see what the shop brings us. I will move from the shadows. We can actually... What are other people doing? Can I see anything? A lot of people are going on Tusk. I don't see there are a lot of people on Primordial, so I think I'm going for Tiny as well. Oh, too late for putting it in. Oh, that's fine. Um, so we're going actually Primordial and Mages, I think, which I've never done before, so I'm really... I, I don't know whether it's going to work or not, but that's what uh, these games are for, just to see whether they work, your builds, and what you can do with them, and just to find all the possibilities that you have with this game. So let's see. Um, actually, Helm of the Undying isn't bad. Let's get Helm of the Undying, give that to Ogre Magi, and let's put Tiny in, give him the health, and let's get Ra take Razor out. Uh, we can get a Tiny and another an Ogre Magi, which I'm just going to do. It, there's no reason why not to. Uh, one thing, uh, as I said in my previous video, one thing to keep in mind is your gold, and you want to build up those interest points. Um, we didn't reach an interest point, we have 6 gold, which means no interest point. You can get uh, one interest point for 10 gold, two for 20, three for 30, which means that uh, up to level 50 you get five uh, bonus gold each round, whether you win or lose. And I can see he has uh, got a uh, Bloodbound build, which we encountered yesterday as well. Uh, one thing to import from Bloodbound that even though it's very, very strong early game, if you have you, if you are late game and you're against assassins or any other player with high DPS, the chances are that your bloodbound isn't going to be as strong as it was in early game. 
The Enchantress is down as well. Unfortunately, our Razor is down. And our Tawny as well. So I think we're going to lose this one by quite a bit. But that's fine. It, it's just early game. You cannot say a lot about it. Fortunately for us, his Underlord is down. So as long... We're probably going to win this. Because our Underlord is actually alive while his went down. And ours can spawn uh, little demons to help her out. And we had some uh, Eidolons on the field because Razor died. I'm going to grab Morphling and I'm going to grab Puck, but I'm going to wait for that until the next round starts because we're currently at 10 gold, which means that if the round starts, it will count the one interest point we currently have. And after that, we can just grab Puck and Morphling, but still get the interest point, which is great. So we won the first round, um, not by a lot, I think we were the one doing the one damage. Um, but the rounds have started, so I'm just grabbing Morphling and Puck. Um, we might in the future. I don't think the Dragon Knight is in jail, is he? No, he's not. Which means that we might even end up grabbing the Dragon Knight, which unlocks one of Buck's new abilities, since he's also a dragon. Um, but we'll see that in the future, and whether we are actually able to do so, and whether he fits in our build. Uh, Butch is down. We've got a level 2. Tusk, which is down as well. So it's our Ogre Magi and our Underlord against his Underlord. And I think because Ogre Magi's got the Helm of the Undying, he survived long enough to actually knock the other Underlord out of the game. Which means we won this one as well, just doing one damage. But it's nice to know that our build is actually holding up so far. Not by much, but it's holding up. Um, so what are do we want to do? We've got that one bonus coin. We've got five for winning, if I'm not mistaken. Five base got one interest and one for victory. Oh, it's just one for three. We can actually grab uh, level two Ogre Magi, which is fine. And we can put another in. And I think I'm going for Morphling, which is one of my favorites. But it doesn't do a lot. Actually, Puck completes an alliance. We're going to go for Puck, even though I prefer Morphling as a character above Puck. But that doesn't matter anything. Okay, so we need... Luna, we need Keeper of the Light, and we need... I don't know which th third one is we need to complete the Maze Alliance. Oh, Ogamashi is doing tons of damage, now he's level 2. He's one of those characters that scales really well with level. And it's it's, it's crazy, especially early game, what he can do uh, for damage when he's level 2 compared to level 1 or the characters. So I'm actually very glad that we've got a level 2 Ogamashi, and I'm really glad we didn't prepared against another level 2 Ogre Marshy because I would hate to encounter that this early game. And since he's got the Helm of the Dying, he stays alive for 4 seconds longer, which is also very, very nice. And do you see the damage output? He is... I, I don't think he even is like a damage-based character, but he does tons of damage simply because he is like a tier 2 Ogre Marshy. So let's have a look at the shop. We've got one interest point, one for victory, and five base gold, which is really nice. And actually, one for winning streak. We can get another morphling, which I'm just going to wait until the next round starts because we've got 20 gold, and I want to keep that second interest point as well. So I'm just going to wait until the next round, and I'm going to grab this uh, Orgamaji to build up the second uh, level two, and hopefully we can get him to level three as fast as we can. Um, but as far as I can see, there are other people also trying to get to Ogre Magi. I have against a Scrappy and a Inventor Alliance, which are both maxed out. What? He already maxed out? No, he didn't. I was just looking. Uh, this actually might... He doesn't have a Sniper yet, which fits perfectly within this Alliance. Um, but he doesn't have that one yet. And luckily we've got our Ogre Magi thanking this task. Oh, this is looking... Oh, he's got a bounty hunter here in the back. I think we might lose this one. I'm not so sure. Yeah, level 2 bounty hunter is quite something to deal with. Now oh, we lose this one. Not by a lot, which is fine. I think we're getting 4 damage, which is no big deal. Yeah, indeed, we got 4 damage. But we... Oh, sh... Try these two before the next round starts. I totally forgot that I was too... Interested in the battle. Um, but yeah, we've grabbed these two. With a bit of a little bit of luck, we find the next Morphling. 
very very soon we can get io oh i would love that but do i want to grab another character at the moment no i don't think so i think i want to build out these characters as much as i can we do have a free reroll so i'm going to skip on io at the mo for the moment but we can get a razor uh i can get all the three of you without losing my interest point and we've got a level 2 Razor in the field as well. Which is very, very nice. Oh, we got a Shaman. Oh, actually two, because he's got two Magnus in here. And he's doing a Shaman build, which is very glad why that we didn't pick it up. And yeah, he's doing a Shaman and Troll build. And there's already someone else on a Druid build as well. So I think we're, I think we're doing fine on this build. I don't th see many other people... Going for these two, I think we actually might be the only people who are going for these two. At least for the moment. We did that full damage, which is very, very nice. Okay, let's see what the shops brings us. We got two interest points. We got five base gold. We've got one for winning. So that should give us a nice amount of gold. I don't think we're going to hit the 30 gold. But that should be okay. We're actually the one with most health at the moment. We doesn't say a thing. Ooh, we can get the next one. I'm actually going to buy it. So we've got another level 2 in our inventory. Which means that in a while, if we get only 3 or more Ogamash, we've got a level 3 Ogamash. Very, very early game. Which I would love to have. Um, I'm actually going to put in this amount, this gold. And put in our Morphling. Which doesn't do anything for the Primordial Alliance at the moment. But still... It, it's fine. We've got another unit in and he's actually quite a good assassin. I see the enemy got a morphling as well. And Ogre Mage is going immediately for the high damage uh, characters here. Which are the two uh, rangers. And uh, he he's bashing it. I mean, he does quite a lot of damage. I see here morphling got a helm of the undying as well. Um, yeah, I think... For the moment, our Okamaji is really carrying the game. He really is. And since we've got a level uh, 1 Primordial uh, Alliance, uh, all Primordial spawn and Eidolon on their death, which are these purple bulbs you see uh, spawning in the field. So yeah, let's see what we get. Are there other people on Tiny as well? And oh my goodness, there are a lot on Tusk. They're gonna be fighting for Tusk, I guess. Um, let's get Drill Bruiser, which is a bit more of a tankier uh, demon that we spawn. We can get our next level Morphling, which I'm not going to grab because we lose our interest points. So I'm just going to wait until the start of the game. Uh, these are just ran regular trolls. They've got uh, a ma this Magia Warrior. So uh, LF Magia Warriors get 30 armor, which they both do. They are just regular uh, monsters to fight against. It's completely fine. And it's just round 10. I mean... Up until around 20 to 30, it's actually doing quite okay. But it really depends on the build you've got, where you can actually beat these monsters. And with one build, you're crushing them. With the next build, you've got very, very much of a difficult time with them. Actually, I'm going to grab this Morphling before I forget again. Uh, as you can see, he's currently level 1, even though he is made level 2. Uh, it will change after the battle has finished. And I think we're going to win this one. Yes, we do. That's great. It doesn't really matter if you win or lose this one. Uh, the only thing that changes is um, the, the tier of items you get to choose from. If you win, you get to choose from a higher tier of items than when you lose. So winning does have a very big advantage. But um, you're, you're not screwed when you lose. Actually, I'm going to grab Aegis. It's one of my favorite characters. Or items, I mean. It's fine. Which means that if we get below zero health, uh, we get a second chance. Ooh, we can grab tinies. We can do that. So we got a level of a uh, tier 2 tiny in the field, which is nice. And I think I'm going to actually spend this 5 gold. Well, no, I'm... Can I... Shall I? Yeah, let's do this. Having more characters in the field is never a bad idea. Let's just do this. And we've got nice a front line of quite some tanky characters. And we're against uh, Scrappy and Inventor. Who they are saying is maxed out, but I'm actually doubting it is. Yeah, it's not. 
Well, actually, maybe it does show two in Scrappy and one on Inventor, but it doesn't show there are actually more levels than that, so it, that's quite confusing. And that's why I th thought, I'm already thought twice that the enemy already has maxed out uh, that Scrappy and Inventor, while in actuality they didn't. And I think we're going to be, yeah, we won. 10 damage. It's round 12 and we're doing 10 damage. Darn it. I should have known that these two Ogamashis do so much damage together. So we got uh, 30 gold, which means 3 interest points. Uh, plus 5 base gold, which brings us to 8. And probably 1 for victory and 1 for a winning streak, which is nice. I'm going to grab this razor after the round has started, because we're currently at 40 gold and I don't want to lose the 4th interest point. Uh, How is everyone doing? Um... Everyone is doing fine. I see there are two on Scrappy, there are two on Warriors, there are two on uh, the Heartless. There's actually one on Bloodbound, which we're not against, we're against Druids. Which means they've got quite a bit of healing and uh, one of his characters, Druid's characters, which is I think his Nature's Prophet and his Enchantress, are going to be one tier higher uh, at random. So he doesn't get to choose at the beginning of each battle, which means that if you've got one level 3 and you've got not a single druid in the, cave, uh, in the field, you always get a level 3 or two level 3s in the field because they choose from the lowest. And we're going to annihilate this enemy again. 7 damage. Perfectly fine. It's still early game. It's only round 13 and we're doing quite a bit of damage already. So as you can see, Aegis I cannot uh, give to a character because it's a global item. Which means that every character profits from it. Or it's a non-character bound item, which it is because it's uh, for me personally, since uh, I as a uh, player don't die the first time I get lethal amounts of damage. And we've got 11 gold, which makes us to 51. Oh shoot, I wanted to grab that razor. I really should leave this, this open. Um... Yes, I'm going to leave the, the, the shop open, because otherwise I'm going to forget it and I wanted that razor. Otherwise I would have a nev next level 2 <laughs> already. So that's really stupid of me that I forgot. Uh, okay, that's great. And I think I'm going to grab Io now. Because I don't see anyone on Io yet. Oh, there's actually one person who does Io. Um, but probably because he wants the uh, side of Io. So let's do this. Let's combine everyone. I, I always like to sort out my bench so that they, they aren't like scrambled and uh, that everyone is standing somewhere. I like to find my pairs or my uh, triplets. He's got a level 2 patch. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. But we've got like two level two, uh, three level 2s in the field. Yeah, we won. We did 6 damage? 6 damage indeed. That's nice. I didn't see any pucks. Is anyone else on puck? No. At least not that I can see easily. What's this? The morphling. So actually multiple people are morphlings. Which is fine because we got a already a level uh, or tier 2. We cannot use anything of this. So actually I'm going to put a level uh, or 5 x five gold into my leveling. So I can put Io on the field as soon as I can. Um, the bottom one actually got a level or tier 3. Uh, Bat Rider, which is quite good, but you need the alliances for it to actually work out best. Here, actually, I got a draw alliance. That, that's quite nice. Um, a Terror Blade. Ooh, don't like to be against that. I can can I choose really use a Terror Blade? Well, I can. I mean, I just can put him in here if I want to. I would love to have a Terror Blade on my team. I think we're going to lose this very, very much. We don't have the DPS at the moment to kill his, uh, his his characters very easy. And he's got a sniper. Yeah, not going... 13 damage, darn. That's quite a lot. Something to... someone to watch out for, I reckon. So, let's see, what do we get? 5 interest points, 5 base goals, so at least 10. And a free reroll, that's fine. Um, let's go for... Sharp Pain. 
I'm going to grab Tiny, I'm going to grab Io, I'm doing my free reroll. I'm not going to grab any of these, but I'm going to rearrange my field because I know that they are going to jump back. Which means that um, if I don't protect my underlord, they're going to kill my underlord in a couple of swipes, which isn't ideal. And actually someone is AFK or disconnected. I don't know why there's a gap here where they could jump. I think Razor moved forward. Okay, Morphling is about to die. Morphling is dead, but he spawns Nidalon, which are actually quite strong. But also they get stronger. Um, I I need to get the Primordial, primordial um, Alliance complete because they spawn very, very strong units and you can actually lose a battle if you're against only Eidolon units. They are very, very strong and not something you should forget. Uh, I think I'm going to put one... Two in here? Yeah, that's fine. We're almost level 7. Um... Yeah, let's get... Um... No, I'm going to give this to my other... Uh, Ogre Magi. We're level seven, uh, level 7, which is great. I'm going to put Io in. I'm going to grab the next Tiny. I'm going to re-roll, because we can, because we've got enough gold, as long as we do not cross uh, the 50. I'm going to grab Io, which brings us a level 2 Io. And I am... I am to grab Morphling. I don't know whether we are able to get... A level 3 Morphling. I love to get a level 3 Morphling. Don't get me wrong. But I know there are quite a lot of people already on Morphling. There's heal one. Where's... Oh, he's got two on, the two on his bench. We've got only one. And he's the only one, actually. We're against one older person. I thought more people were going for Morphling. And I don't think we're going to get this either. We don't have a high enough damage output. I'm afraid. No, I went quite a lot. 73, it's fine. It's completely fine. I think Puck is here the problem because Puck is still level 1, but I don't I don't see other people going for Pucks. I'm actually quite surprised that we didn't encounter more Pucks already. But there's actually one person going for Puck. He's still got only one Puck on his bench. I, I do not really understand why we didn't encounter more Puck already. I need two more tinies. I would love to have two more tinies. Oh, we can get Lina. Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's get you as well. We get our uh, level two Razor. And we get Buck. And then I'm going to wait. Uh, now let's move you up here. Like this. Okay, let's see what are we getting against. Ah, oh, the Bloodbound and Druid combination. But he's actually disconnected, which is odd to see. But okay, that's fine. Some people have connection problems, which can happen quite easily. Come on, kill that Enchantress. She had like one health left and then Morphling decided to focus on someone else. And yeah, I think we're going to win this one quite easily. Yeah, we did. How much damage did we do? One is 13. That's quite nice. Okay, let's see what the shops brings us next. I really hope for two more tinies. I think uh, we've got level two tiny. Oh no, he's got like two tinies as well. Mom, I want my tinies. I need only two of them. I see Puck here, which I'm going to grab. I see Morphling here, I'm going to grab. I love to get Terra Blade, but it's not something I can fit in right away. Oh, the Templar Assassin. So good. <laughs> so many good memories. Uh, tiny. tiny. Let's get Tiny. We need only one more Tiny. We've got a level 3 Tiny, guys. It's awesome. And I didn't encounter any more Okamajus, actually. Which is odd. Especially if you compare how many we got in the beginning of the game. But for now, we got two of them in the field. It, it's fine. 
Hammer against... What does he have? Um, oh, the troll and shaman. Oh, he's got the one with... He's the one with the level 3 bed rider. That's going to be annoying. Can we please kill the shaman? Uh, I... Or... Oh. Focus all your fire on the bed rider. I'm fine with that either way. He is down. Uh, Morphling is taking care of Dazzle. Oh. He was taking care of Dazzle. Oh, the Underlord is dead. Um, Morphling was killed, but... He actually got... I think that's a rank 2. Yes, indeed, it's a rank 2 Eidolon, because we put Io in. Um, because we put Eidolon in, we completed our tier th uh, 2 alliance with the Eidolon, uh, with the Primordials, which means we've got now got level 2 Eidolons in the field when someone dies. Which is quite nice, to be honest. Having a bit of extra firepower if it's not going very well. Um, 11 gold to spend. Don't want any of these. Don't want any of these. Um, let's grab Lina. Um, would love to grab a puck, but as you can see, my bench is a bit full. Come on, I need one tiny people. One tiny. <gasps> the Ark Warden. I'm sorry, Lina. You gotta go. Uh, I'd more of mine Ark Warden. <laughs> and what's the last primordial we can get? All the faceless void. So if we've got the Ark Warden and the faceless void, we've got all the primordials complete. And with the f you, s you saw what the faceless void did yesterday. It was awesome. Um. Yes, this can become very tricky. I need Morphling to do his... Um, where's Io? Is Io already killed? I think so. But just that... I need his Lycan to die. His Lycan is dead and we just need to end it. We survived. Just did two damage but we survived. Which is all that counts. I'm actually one of the people with the most amount of gold. Only. Uh, Smurfic has more gold than us, but it doesn't. Um, it it the diff doesn't differentiate that much that I'm going to worry about it. Because if you have gold, you can buy more units, or you can actually search for units, as we're doing. Uh, Golem, none of these. My tiny. I have to grab Io. No. Tiny! We've got the level 3 tiny guys. We've got a level 3. I'm actually going to switch these around because it's better to keep tiny alive as long as we can. Um, and now we can focus on the other characters as well, but I'm going to focus on my XP because I want Arc Warden in. Oh, actually someone quit it. Well, okay. Ooh. Tiny is great. He is so tanky. Look at that health! 5200! It takes a whole lot to kill this tiny. And he's not so tiny anymore. So I always enjoy that name. They call him Tiny, but once he's level 3. Oh, I think we're going to. Might lose this one? Yes, I think we lose this one. Oh no! Io came back! Not that Io can do much, but, well, unfortunately. It was really close though. So, it's fine. So let's see what we can choose from. Um, yeah, let's take this one. Um, let's give it to Morphling. More attack damage from Morphling is always nice. Um, yes, we want Razor because we want to take uh, create Razor into level 3. Um, would love to grab Aya, but I think I'm going to put um, 2 points into my uh, XP. So next round when we've got uh, probably the 5 base gold and the 5 um, interest, we can at least put one, uh, the last one into a uh, pool of XP so we can get to level 8. Which would be nice. Um, oh, he's actually got the barriers. I don't know why that would choose that. Uh, he's got a Queen of Pain? Yes, I... Where's Tiny? Oh, Tiny is here. Tiny is focused on. Don't die, Tiny. I like you too much to be dying. <laughs> At least he stays alive for four more seconds, so that's quite long. If you... Well, 
quite a substantial amount. It's not long, it's a substantial amount. But here, Smallfling always stays alive a bit longer. Uh, six, uh, eight, ten damage, I think. And Golem, ooh. That's not nice. I think that might be two. Oh, that's ten. I don't think Golem counts for anything. I don't think so. So let's see. What can we buy? I would love to get two more razors. Uh, not going to buy any of these. I'm actually going to put in first do this. Um, yeah, let's go buy Ios. That's fine. And the Arc Warden is going to be put in. And uh, we need only one. And that's going to be the f uh, face. Oh no, we've got two more. But I do not know. I probably can see in the rule book, I guess. The rule book, I guess. Um, alliances, primordial. I've got Arc Warden and Enigma or Faceless Void. I actually got get to choose. Uh, personally, I would love a Faceless Void. I mean, that would be awesome. But uh, I know more people are gunning for him because he's so awesome. Um, I'll actually tiny face tank two more people while he was actually supposed to be dead. And I think Ayo is going to bring back Tiny. No, he's gonna bring back Ogamashi. Well, that's fine. I'd rather have Tiny though, but... Um, yeah, let's see. Oh my, Arkwadden spawns two of him. Oh, that's right. Is it my golem? It's my golem as well. How much damage do we do? Eight. Well, that, that's pretty nice. I'm hoping I do actually to find two more Arc Wardens so I actually can bump him up to level two. I don't think many other people are going for him. Uh, don't see him anywhere. That's quickly. Um, ooh, Dragonite. I can actually. I'm going for Dragonite. I'm sorry, but I'm going to need it. So actually, who do I want to put in? Because I've got only two places left because I can at most go to level ten. So I'm actually going to skip on Lina. And focus on the Dragonite to get Puck up. And focus on either the Faceless Void or... Um, the... What is the other one? Enigma. Uh, to get my Primordial Alliance to the third and last tier. So let's see how well are we holding up. Oh, bah. I hate snipers. Come on, Morphling. You can do something about it. I hope so. Ah, uh, you died. That's unfortunate. Ayo is alive, and probably Ayo is going to bring someone back. I guess he will. Who do you bring back? A dead hero. So... I think you're already done that. But why are you minus three? Oh, I think because of an enemy. So I think this will be a draw unless my Eidolons are going to focus on the enemy instead of just on the other units because... Oh no, she is in sharp pain! It was actually my underlord who killed her. The pure pain. Oh, no. That golem was alive still. That is fine. I think I thought we were going to lose, so drawing is fine. Um, don't get any of these. Um, going to put in two, three. I can do four. And I'm not going to reroll. It's useless. So that's great. Sniper does so much damage. I hate snipers. So that's why I really liked the Assassin build of last time because we just jumped towards the sniper and the sniper was dead because for a good even blink. Which is awesome. Um, but yeah. Now we don't have any assassins. So that means we need to survive long enough to actually get to the sniper. Or have Morphling going to the sniper. And I see Ayo teleporting away to get an ally back. Ah, oh, the Ogamashi. Ah, oh, that's fine. I'm wondering where are the rest of the Ogamashis? Th this is me. And there's one here, or three. 
but I don't see them anywhere and I haven't encountered them anywhere else. I mean one, but it didn't matter because we were against a ghost of a person who already was um, defeated and who lost the game already. But that's fine. So let's see what the shop springs is. I really hope we can actually get enough to get our uh, enough XP to get us to level 9 so I actually can put the Dragonite in. Oh, it's a loot round. That's fine. Um, let's go for Phantom Pain. Uh, one, two, and let's wait a moment. Actually, do not bet. I. He is the most annoying person, and he's like all these alliances with the sniper. And I think the, yeah, the the, the tier three uh, task. So we've got again a loot round. Hopefully, we win this one, so we get some better loot than last time. So let's see. So what does Io do? More attack speed and more damage reduction. So actually it should link Io to... I don't know. Probably the Templar Assassin? Puck is also good. I don't know. I I'm, do not want to link him to Morphling or Tiny because... Tiny is the front line so when he dies there's a very big chance that uh, Io dies as well. Uh, Morphling just jumps around the field, so it doesn't really help. Isn't really helpful since Io doesn't do that, and he can only hold uh, the connection up to four cells away, which isn't very useful if Io is here and Morphling jumps to there. So therefore, I think I'm going to try to link him to the Templar Assassin. So let's see what does the shop bring us. Ooh. Mm. Let's get this one and give it to Io, I guess. Uh, one, two, level nine, which brings. Oh no, stay there. Dragonite in there. So I'm actually going to look for the Dragonite, more races, more Ogre Magis, uh, and none of these. And actually, of course, the last piece of the puzzle. Faceless Void. And then we've got our whole build complete. Well, actually, we can have more ca one more character because we can actually put... Hopefully, we can find another three Ogre Magis to make actually a level three Ogre Magi, which I thought we would be able to achieve very early on. But surprisingly, we don't. And as you can see, this is the Dragon Knight. Even though he's level one, he's incredibly strong. And Puck also is a whole lot stronger thanks to the Dragon Alliance that I've got going on. Which I think is just awesome that just... One alliance can be so incredibly uh, very, valu very valuable. Um, so yeah, that, that puck is dead. Yeah, this is going nicely. Especially because Aya was linked to these. I think they've got a lot of... I think Aya was linked to these. We did quite a bit of damage. 11 damage. Nice. So let's see. I hope, hopefully, we can get him or her. I think it's on him up to level uh, two, so he's a bit more stronger as well. But for now, we're just going to search through the characters to see what we can use and what not. I'll still keep an eye, by the way, on um, the gold counter. Enigma, hello, my friend. I'm actually going to wait because I want Enigma and Ogomaji. Let's buy Ogomaji and uh, wait for Enigma because he's the last piece of the puzzle. And what does he actually do? I don't know. But let's get him. Uh, great, let's get you. What's your power? Oh, nice. This looks very nice. This doesn't look that nice, to be honest. Uh, I really hate this pet rider. But he's focusing on the Eidolon, which I don't know who is killed. Morphling was killed. Actually, Io is getting back someone. Who are you getting back? Morphling. Nice, some high DPS. As you can see, Dragonite is face tanking Dazzle, which is awesome. And he isn't giving any 
if you see Desert just full blow on attacked our Dragonite, but nothing happened. So that's great. I think we have, I hope we have enough damage output, but I don't think so. No, we don't. That's unfortunate. I really hate the Shaman over here. And we don't have enough DPS. Does he always... Does he have an Arc Warden? Against who are we? Against him. Or did he turn my Arc Warden against me? I actually think he turned... We're against who? No fake. He doesn't have an Arc Warden. But I actually think he turns my Arc Warden against me. Because I don't see it in this build. Minus eight, it's fine. Uh, don't want any of these. These. Arc Warden, the second one. And yeah, let's do the reroll. Nothing to get. Okay, so let's wait. Uh, what does this again? Ability Oh, good, as a sort of the equipped hero. It means that I just got more. No, let's get it to. Get it to you. I think you should. You need it more than I. I own. So we actually can kick someone out of the game. <laughs> I think I already won from him like two rounds ago. Though his his bounty hunter is annoying, but he isn't very much more than annoying. Actually, I have linked to Razor, and he's who are you getting back? Morphling, nicely, nice. And we've got a golem as well. I think we just... No, minus four only. The primordials don't do any damage to him. He's lucky. We do have a bit of a lot of people on here. Actually, we want to get to level nine as soon as we can. So let's see what does the shop brings us. Nothing that's worthy, so I'm actually going to put two more in here. And we'll keep that going for the next couple of rounds, unless there's something really good that we really, really want in the shops. So let's wait against who we are. I, th I think the pro people who are most, the most problem with is actually... These aren't the problem for us, or not, not as big of a problem as the other uh, three that are either around the same... Uh, health or the one uh, senpai here at the top. Um, I think we beat this one before, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see how this is going. Queen of Pain is dead. Um, I was actually going to bring someone back who is our Arc Warden. Oh, is I was going to bring someone back as well. Tiny is down. Our Queen of Pain is back. Those are down. Okay, so only Io is left. And uh, Primordials. I think... Yeah, we did 11 damage. That's quite nice. We don't do as much damage <coughs> as we did last time. <coughs> with the Assassins. <coughs> oh, we've got big dinosaurs, big rewards, which have a lot of healing, which is quite unfortunate. But it's all Arc Warden, the next one. Yeah, let's get it. So we've got a level 2 Arc Warden, which is quite strong to have in your team. Um, let's put one point here in our levels, which means that next time we can actually point, put maybe even three points in our levels, which would be nice. As you can see, uh, Senpai, me and the two below me are level 9, while the others are either level 6 or level 8. Which means that Samurai over here actually has three less characters on the board than I have. Which I don't know why he chose for that. I, 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 it's not necessarily better to have more characters on the board. But it's highly advisable because otherwise one character of you is fighting against even more characters from the enemy. Which can be very, very bad for you. Who is bring, who's, are you bringing back? Uh, Morphling. Why is always bringing Morphling back? I don't understand that, but fine, I guess. Okay, that's... One left. Yes, nice. 
though we won that one, so we can get to choose from better items. But let's see what we can choose from. Um, healing ward. Oh, dragon. Oh, Dagon. Let, let's give Dagon to... Let's give him to the Ark Warden. That's probably the best we can do at the moment. Oh, I think he lost quite a bit. Um, no, we're going to put three, uh, two points into our XP bar. I haven't seen another Dragon Dragonite anymore. Someone else going for Dragonite? I really don't hope so. Um, not that I can see. Not that I can see. Well, that's fine. Uh, against the trolls. Don't like that one. Really don't like that one. So let's see how this is going. Let's kill them as soon as we can. So then we've got less chickens to work right. Oh, actually he got the tutut boat. Oh, sure. Oh, his shaman is still alive. Please kill the shaman. Ayo, are you still alive? No, you are not. It's actually our Arquadon and our Dragonite who are thanking it together with the tiny who they are currently focusing on. Um, can we kill the Bat Rider? Can we kill the Bat Rider? Uh, please kill the Bat Rider. No, I don't think so. This is going to hurt quite a bit. Uh, let's see. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13 damage? 16 damage. Oh, he's got a level 3 in excess. Damn it. That hurt. So, we need to step up our game. We need to get Enigma in because he's the last piece of the puzzle for the primordials. Um, don't want any of these. I'm going to put two points in this. And I actually... I am going to lock this. No, actually, I can buy them both. Without a problem. We need one more razor in order to get our alliance complete. And we need two more points to get our Enigma in. So let's see. Let's wait a moment. Uh, have a look at the battle. I hope we're against one of the bottom ones. Uh, now we're against someone else from 34. And he's got like this healing ward. Healing ward, yes. More healing. Not something I enjoy seeing, but fine. Okay, Ayas bring someone back. Morphling, I guess. No, an Orgomashi. Well, not great. I, I'd, I'd rather you bring back, like... Wait a moment and bring back Tiny. But I think I cannot be too picky. I'm already glad you bring back people. Uh, we've got one level 3 down, which does quite a lot to our health and the health we're going to lose. Um, because he's got quite a bit of DPS here, especially that sniper in that corner. Oh, we've got Golem. Well, uh, enjoy, I guess. But I think we're going to die very, very soon. Oh, actually, Samurai is out of the game. Was he the one with the annoying build? No, he's not. He had quite an easy build. Well, can we make this a troll? No, unfortunately we can't. But 7 damage, well, isn't great, but could have been way, way worse. So let's see, I really want... I'm going to lock this. I'm going to put 2 points in here. Put Enigma in the battle. Which will finish actually our Shaman build as well. Which I wouldn't think it did. Then I can. Aren't you going for Enigma as well? Because he's a shaman. You're probably going to need him. No, you are not. Nice. And I'm going to wait for the next round by uh, the Dragonite. And do the free burial. But I locked this in case I was so stupid to forget. Let's unlock this by the Dragonite. Use the free reroll. And that's not the one I want. I mean, a level 1 Enigma probably is quite weak. But then again... Does he have a Medusa? Oh, shoot. I don't like Medusa. Uh, let's get Pudge down. Then this. Oh, he's the higher guy. 
We're not doing bad against him, actually. And Medusa is dead, so she can do anything. We only've got like a level 2 Terra Blade to worry about, and level 2 Mirana. His Underlord is down. Oh my goodness, his Underlord is down. We might actually win this round. We do actually win this round. Because his Mirana decided to focus on the Eidolon. Which are actually level 3 Eidolons because of um, Enigma. And that, that meant that our Arc Water could actually attack her just freely. Marvelous. Get probably a level 3 Morphling. Enigma again. Well, I'm um, sorry. Aya? We're going for Enigma. I want a level 2 Enigma. Uh, we'd need one Razor. Which will bring... Oh, shoot. I missed an interest point. Well, shit happens. Um, we need that one Razor, which will give us a tier 3 Razor in the field. We need either one Enigma, which gives us a tier 2 Enigma in the field. We need that one Dragon Rider, which gives us a tier 2 Dragon Rider in the field. We've got many options. And we cannot put any more in leveling, which means all our money can actually go to finding our ideal characters. What is going on here. I have no idea. Our Enigma is luckily still alive, but I think we're going to lose this. He has a lot of area of effect damage. As in, an awful lot of area of effect damage. And I think we're going to lose this by quite some bit. Like 16 damage? 13 damage. It, it's doable. We're not doing great. So I think I'm going to spend a bit of my money. Uh, go down to 20 or something, so I can actually search a bit for the characters I want, so we can stay alive a bit, because with 90 health, we can be knocked out in the ne next round. Which isn't something I want. Oh, we actually have a loot round. That's nice. Um, crash. Razor. Nice, we've got a level 3 Razor. Free reroll. Don't really want to go for Puck, to be honest. I don't have any Pucks here in my bench. Um, searching. I'm sorry, Io. Ooh, Dragonite. I have to wait a moment. And I'm not going for Arcwater because I don't think I can get him to level 3 before we're dead. So I actually want to focus on the units we can get to a higher level um, before we die. Uh, none of these. Oh shoot, I should have taken the Arc Warden. You know what, let's grab those. Uh, none of these. None of these. Arc Warden and Ogre Magi level 3. Actually, I want the next Enigma. I don't think I'm going to get... <gasps> Faceless Void. And I actually have a place more <laughs> in my... <laughs> So I'm actually going to grab this level 1 faces for it. So I have one to wait. Now oh, let's grab it. Which did I grab? Oh, that's fine. That's completely fine. Let's grab him here, put him here. Let's give that to you. Um, let's give that to... No, I want your item. And I'm just going to look for either Morphlings, either Enigmas, Faceless Voids, or Arc Wardens. I'm really looking for high levels, but that's fine. We've got now a level 3 Tiny, a level 3 Ogre Machine, a level 3 Razor, and we've got the Faceless Void in. It's actually probably going to be a bit better from now on. It looks not bad. You can search for it until we hit 20. Ah, we hit 20. Didn't find anything. Oh, against that guy. That isn't going great. Unless Faceless Void actually is going to do quite a bit for us. But also, our Dragonite is stronger now. Ooh. Please kill, please kill, please kill. Where's the Faceless Void? I don't see my Faceless Void. I do see Enigma, but I don't see Faceless Void. So I think he already died. But our Razor is alive. And that's not ours. So actually, hope, oh, please, come on. Get your hype up. 
I want to have a goblin as a golem as well. It's my golem. My golem is over here. He's actually my golem is killing the sniper. <laughs> we won. We did eleven damage. Nice. And actually, we got this this mana thing over here. That I wanted to give to him. Oh no, this is the health. Well, I you can choose some extra health. Don't need any of these. Uh, Arc Warden. I think we might actually be able to get a level 3 Arc Warden. We might be able to get it. Don't need Lich. I don't need Lich. <laughs> and don't need any of these either. Ah, uh, against the top one. We might be able to win this. I mean, we improved a lot a bit since we lost were against him and especially our damage per second went up very much. And we've now got our faceless void here in the middle. Well, I don't know where he is. I think he almost always dies when he puts that up. No, I don't think we're going to win. This is Medusa is level 2 now. And Medusa is... Our level 3 Ogamaji is actually up and running again. I don't think that will be enough, but I think we can we can actually do some damage control for the amount of damage that we got because our Arc Warden is actually tanking, or oh, not tanking, he's dealing so much damage. And we've got a Golem over here, Golem who is killing the sniper. We, we win, we actually won this round against the strongest guy. Phew! <laughs> oh, we're actually doing better now. We're actually doing better now. Oh, more fling. Only need one more fling. Please. Ooh, Enigma. I'm going to wait till the round starts. Because I want to have that, like, one interest point. Though it's not much. But, you know, whatever. Otherwise, Enigma wouldn't be here as level 2 in the next round, and I want him to be a level 2 Enigma in the next round. So for now, Faceless Voids or Arc Wardens uh, or Morphlings. The only three units I'm actually going to buy. I'm against the one with. Oh, we lost against him last time. Where's the. Oh, the Faceless Void is over here. Can we actually freeze this whole bunch? We can actually freeze the whole bunch over there. Are you, are you alive? You actually bring someone back. You're bringing back our Dragon Knight. Uh, our Underlord is down, but his is as well. I think we knocked him out. We're against only the number one guy. We're at, we're at least second. So it's us against him. And we won last time when we were against him. Which is good news. I don't want to do so. And I don't. Oh, don't want either of these. And we have one more character to compare to him, and he doesn't have any money, which means that we have one more character in the field, which is probably our faceless void. Which is awesome. So let's see how this is going. Two wins, one lose, one draw. Going to be interesting. So where are you, faceless void? I. Well. From now on, I know he's going to attack from this corner. So as long as I know that, I'm actually going to place my Faceless Void on the other side, hoping that the first first thing they kill won't be the Faceless Void, if I survive one more round. Uh, I do have Razor with me. And Enigma is still here. He got <gasps> Io survived, and Io brought back Tiny. And I think I almost got enough hype to have Golem. I have enough for Golem. 12 damage to him. He's almost down. He, he only got twice as much health as I do. I'm actually going to place him here because I don't want Alphysis Void to die immediately. There's a bonus round. Don't need any of these. No, don't want him. I don't think. 
there is any reason for me to try to get another enigma. Well, there could do that, but I don't think that really helps. I'm just going to have a sneak peek. Yes, he placed everything in this corner, which means that my faceless void is here, which it currently is. It's going to jump this way instead of these characters going to run around and actually attack my faceless void. So I think we did a good job by replacing our faceless void here. And hopefully we win this round so we get some really nice item from it. Um, but I don't think we would because these are quite hard to defeat. Unless of course my faceless void decide to freeze half of them so we can just attack them if they're attacking us. And our tiny is very nicely tanking most of it even though he's already dead. And Ayo is still alive and I didn't see Ayo bringing back a character but I think he did. He was defeated which means our item is going to be better because we're, because we're going to win this. Because he's attacking this level 3 Eidolon. Well, my other characters can actually attack him freely. The, the enemy. Bro. Oh, we might be able to win this, guys. I thought we weren't doing that great, to be honest, but we're actually doing great. More attack damage, more chance for critical hit, and to... Without a doubt, here you go. Um, and let's get you to Razor, I think. Uh, don't want any of you. Oh, you got a level 3 sniper, really? Luck. I want this morphling, but I need one more round. I need to survive one more, and I actually got Aegis, which means I will survive for another round. Which means I will survive this round, that's for sure. With or without Aegis. And that means that next round I've got a level 3 morphling. Which isn't bad. And I moved my Faceless Void, which should be fairly safe now from all the people they pl he places here. Oh, uh, don't fa- Oh, you actually froze half his board. You actually froze half his board, giving my people the time to attack. Even though you're dead, you did so much. And now you got Enigma, who f places all of them in haste. Or I don't know what it actually does. What, what are you doing? Uh, steeped in dark resonance. It. How much damage can we do? I don't think it's a lot of damage that we actually do to him. Eleven damage. We actually do a lot of damage, and we have now a level three morphling. And we're on a five round win streak, so we give us more gold as well to actually search for morphling. Welcome. <laughs> Uh, I don't need any of this. Don't need any of this. Oh. So we're just searching for Arc Assassins. Oh no. Uh, Arc Wardens or the Faceless Void. And for that, then I think our build's complete. We just have to survive long enough. Does he have Aegis? He doesn't have Aegis, which means that I actually live one round longer than he does. I am here to uh, did want Ayo over there? But our faces void is a bit in the back. But faces void, yes, you froze half his <laughs> you froze half of his en the enemies again. Oh, this is lovely. And now we've got Morphling of level three who does so much damage, and that together with those f that fog of Enigma is really really nice. How much damage did we do? Sixteen damage. <laughs> oh, this build is so. This build is so good, I didn't think we were going to get this far. But we're actually doing it. We are actually doing it. Don't need Sven. Was it worth grabbed him a long time ago? Disruptor? No, don't even need him. We who oh no, that's the keeper of the light who would have been great for my mages. Uh This is awesome. This is really awesome. We just have to survive one more round. Uh, I'd actually wanted to switch you up and switch you up. I don't know how he can place his characters differently to minimize the damage that I can do immediately. Um, because his people are going to get frozen by Faceless Void, no matter what. And his Tusk is down, Dit is down. The sniper is annoying, so I actually hope... Oh, the Eidolons are taking down his sniper. I think we might actually lose this one. 
I don't know how much they can face tank this. But it probably won't be enough. Oh, Medusa's down. That one's down. We win this. <laughs> Arquad and finishes it off. Full damage. Thank you, Ark Warden. I didn't think you were just this powerful. I thought you were a very nice character, but not this powerful. I think actually I want to switch you guys around. Let's see, what can we get? No, I want my Ark Wardens. I want a level 3 Ark Warden. Faceless Void. Luck. I want this Faceless Void. I don't think we're going to be needing it, since I think he will be dead next round. But then again, it's nice to know that we've got some options in case he beats us for the moment. What is he doing? Oh, just the same. As always, that's fine. This battle is ours. I feel it's Actually, he puts... He uh, moves Patch to the front. But then again, Faces Void is back in the back here. And he will freeze this, which are all his high damage dealers. And though Faceless Void is dead, which is annoying, we got st still a few alive. One of them being Tiny, who made sure together with the Bruiser that Butch would be dead. Oh, uh, please shut down Medusa. I don't know how this is going. I think we might be able to lose this one, or we're going to lose this one. Oh no, we've got a Golem. We're probably going to win this, because the only one he's got is Miranda. Mirana. And we've got more enemies. And I think we just won. Yes, we won. Guys, we won our first ranked game. It's actually the first ranked game I've ever won, I think. It's awesome. We've reached the end game. Well, that was awesome. I really had hoped that we actually would have finished our Ark Warden to level 3, but we didn't, and it wasn't really needed in the end. Uh, how many points did we actually get? 150 rank points, so we're currently upstart level 4. Uh, what are our stats? We did 1.27 um, 1 million damage to units. I actually should remember this, uh, this build. It, it's really great. Though it does rely on the quite 3 or 4 High level characters. That was awesome. Let's have a look whether we can collect some achievements. We cannot. But then I think, guys, I'm going to take a break for now. I hope you really enjoyed this episode. If you do, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys next time.